I got a message over the weekend uh, from somebody on my friends list and the question that was being asked of me was how do you get back on track after being lazy for so long? And I'm assuming that this person probably wasn't lazy for as long as they thought they were. Maybe it was just a, a short period of time where he just kind of slacked off a little bit. But uh, what it really started making me think about for this video was kind of where does the motivation come from? So I'm going to start by assuming that we're all smart enough to know that motivation can come from uh, a couple of different places. The first place that motivation can come from is externally, and there's basically two types of things externally that will lead to your motivation. One of them is the fear of loss, and the other one is the prospect of gain. Um, prospect of gain, obviously, uh, you know, if you complete this challenge, you will win a prize, okay? Most, uh, common prospect of game, you know. You go on a game show and if you win uh, the game, you get XYZ prizes or, you know, whatever amount of money. So that's motivation, that's the external motivation prospect of game. Uh, something that's more, that I believe is stronger than that, is the fear of loss. The fear of loss is, if you don't do X, you're going to lose Y. Uh, for example, if you don't quit smoking, you're going to die of lung cancer. Or if you don't stop speeding, you're going to get a ticket and you may get arrested and you might go to jail and you could lose your license. Um, the, the fear of loss can sometimes be a, a stronger motivator. The problem with the fear of loss is it's usually the last thing that happens. You know, we, we as as people and in our human nature, we tend to wait until our back is against the wall until we'll come out swinging. You know, we get pushed and pushed and pushed into a corner and we let life get so far ahead of us and, and, and so heavy and, and we let things build up so much that we finally find ourselves with our backs pressed against the wall and that's finally when we decide to start coming out fighting. And I don't know why it has to be that way. Um, why do we have to let it get so far before we, you know, we'll stand up on our own two feet and say enough is enough. So, you know, the motivation there, and, and here's what I'm talking about. Mainly, uh, it's, it's a mon monetary is where you see it the most. Where, you know, if you don't do X, you're going to lose Y in dollar amount. So... If you don't file your taxes, you're gonna end up owing a big fine or a penalty. That's pretty good motivation for people to get their taxes done on time. So, whereas if you told somebody, hey, if you do your taxes by uh, March 1st, you'll qualify for an extra $100 or $200 bonus on your taxes. You would think that a lot of people would take advantage of that, but I guarantee you, more people will race to get their taxes done before the deadline of having a penalty than they will to get their taxes done ahead of time to win a prize or to get some extra money. So um, I've never done a scientific study or experiment on that, but I believe that to be true. The other place that motivation comes from, which I think we're all smart enough to know where the real motivation comes from when it comes to what we're all trying to do here, uh, through my fitness pal and, and wherever else that you're, uh, you know, happen to be affiliated with as far as, you know, getting in shape and, and you know, bettering your, your life and your health, is that motivation comes from within you. And, you know, it's kind of like smoking. You know, if somebody tells me to smoke or to stop smoking and I, I internally don't want to stop smoking, then the motivation from this person telling me that is probably not going to make me stop smoking. However, if I decide for me, and I decide internally, and I want it, and I say, I, 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 I'm done with this and I don't want to smoke cigarettes anymore, 
that's when the, the real change and, and the real chance for you to stop smoking will actually happen. Uh, I smoked for 10 years. Uh, you know, I started smoking at 17 and didn't quit until, you know, I was 27 years old. And granted, I was not a, what you would call a, a, a heavy smoker. I was maybe, you know, a pack or a pack and a half a week at most. I was more of a social smoker. But I tried to quit many times where it was outside influence that was sort of directing me to want to quit smoking. Um, it wasn't until, you know, 27, it was right about the time I met my wife, and it was also about the time that I started getting back into BMX racing. And what happened was things in my life outside of uh, my normal routine were, were now changing. I was now dating a girl who I wanted to be serious about and didn't smoke, and I know didn't like that I smoked. And then I was getting back into a sport which required uh, a pretty solid use of my lungs. So when I would try to quit smoking before, even if I really wanted to, quitting smoking only meant, hey, I'm quitting smoking, and that's the only thing I got out of it. Once the, the lifestyle changes started to happen, i.e., started getting back into bike racing and started dating somebody which smoking wouldn't be conducive to that relationship. Now I had, I'm quitting smoking because it's good for me and I want to do it. And it doesn't work with my BMX racing because it's going to make me slower and it's going to make me sluggish and I'm not going to win races. And it's going to help me, you know, better my relationship with somebody who doesn't smoke cigarettes and thinks it's a gross habit. So the point of all this, seven minutes into this video now, is really simple. There's a difference between being motivated to do something and having the strength to take the action to follow up on those motivations. Because I could be motivated every morning to get up and go to the gym and eat great and exercise and and you know go to bed that night and lay my head down on my pillow with a fantastic, amazing day behind me, but will I actually do that every day? So, if you don't make additional changes to your daily routine and your daily lifestyle that are conducive to what you're trying to do, and a perfect example of that is, hey, join a fitness club or uh, join a sports team or join something, do something, get a hobby that has you going outside, or join a cooking class or a cooking club, or you know something different than what your normal day looks like. If, if you're motivated to eat better and exercise more, but your day from 7 a.m. in the morning until 10 o'clock at night continues to look exactly the same with the same type of activities as it did before you decided to make these changes, it's just going to be very difficult to make them happen. The motivation will be there, but without changing and adding in some external influences that are going to help you and, and produce more of that drive and produce more of that, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take action to do this because this part of my life now depends on it, and this part of my life depends on it, and this part of my life now depends on it. Those are really, really, really going to help. So it's the same thing with when I was quitting smoking. It was so much easier to do and easier to take action when I had a lot of external things happening that were helping me do that. So um, that's what I would say for somebody that's having problems with motivation. You've got to make sure that you're altering some of the things in your life from 7 a.m. in the morning till 10 o'clock at night that go along with your plan so that it's not just eating better and exercising, but how does your day-to-day -day routine incorporate those things and, and round out your life as a whole. So, all right, guys. Wow, 10-minute video. I'm so sorry to keep you here this long, but I hope that you got something out of this. Um, who knows? Maybe it's complete hogwash. I don't know, but that's just one man's thought on it. Anyway, have a fantastic week. Love all you guys. Thanks for all your support, and I will chat with you later.